So yeah, I guess we're gonna let people watch this sweet intro video. Yeah, again. and I can read the manual to them. Yeah, read the manual. Hey. Well, this is, uh, I wrote this manual. You wrote the manual? I wrote the manual. I wrote the manual. Oh, hold on, I gotta kill myself here. Think, okay, uh, there we go. What did you get to kill what? Wait, you what? Huh? Yeah, manual written by Jason L. Blair, right there. Where? That, right I here. see that. Manual written by Jason L. Blair. I wrote the manual. Holy shit. So, Whoa. okay, so this game, 2006. 2006, summer 2006, June, July 2006. It was yeah. like June or July, yeah. And then when you came around, but you didn't, well, obviously you weren't there from the beginning, beginning. No, 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 that, no. that would have meant that 95. you 95. Yeah. <laughs> 95. Yeah, no, yeah. even before that. Well, I don't know how long they've been working uh, on it. Uh, Human Head had been working on it for two and a half, three years. Like, the, prior to, not prior to me getting on, but just prior to launch, I believe, something like that. I'm sure all my Human Head friends, uh, much love to all, all the peoples that love Human Head. Um, so Human Head, on it. Human Head's still around, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, because like we weren't, we were just looking at their website and looking at some of the other games that they worked on. Mm -hmm. and I guess Rune was the big one. Rune was the one that made them. Um, they uh, that was their first game. Uh, that was published by Gathering of Developers. Um, at, man, that's still even. Man, even. I last worked at Head in 2011. Wait, they call it Head? I call it Head. You it's, call it, the Head or they call it Head? Well, quite a few people call it Head or okay. The Head. Not the to be confused head. with okay. the restroom. Human Head. Human Head, The Head. Uh, <laughs> not The Human. No one calls it The Human. Um, <laughs> Rune has an amazing following. People still play the multiplayer. Uh, still, still played it at the office. Why is um, their website still under construction? Humanhead.com. No, Ruin. Here, I'll show. I'll show you the Ruin. Is there? Yeah. There's a Ruin. There's a Ruin fan site for no, a long time. No, but there's the official site. The so official site's really Humanhead. cool. I don't know. I, despite what you may have heard, I don't All work right. there anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what, so I don't know what they're here, telling you. Here, I'll, I'll show you right over here. So, so I go a, to yeah, the human games, head games, and then it says Ruin right. official site. Okay, Ruins-World.com. I don't know. Chris, Ted, anyone? Shane? Anyone know? I'm talking to my human head people. You're talking to the headies. I'm talking to the headies. Talking to the <laughs> talking to the headwinds. Um, I don't know, but they they just released Lost Within. I'm I'm pipping your stuff. All right. Um, what for, for iOS? Really? And and also Android. I believe. And yeah, the Lost Within. Lost right Within. Do they have something to do with Amazon's whole game thing they were doing? Yeah, Lost Within uh, was uh, was Amazon. Okay. And then uh, Minimum, they took over from TimeGate to finish Minimum, which is a really cool stylized uh, multiplayer game. So where where are they located? They're located in Madison, Wisconsin, which wow. is a fantastic town. Game How come they don't come to Midwest Game, game Developers Conference like we do? I'll ask them next time I'm, I'm at a meeting there. <laughs> <laughs> My secret meetings I have at Human Head. I, I drive up there and I'm like, don't tell Volition. I don't guys. know. I feel I feel like a lot of the guys. I mean, this is the only game studio I've worked for, but a lot of guys that mm -hmm. work at game studios like they're always coming, coming back and be like, hey, what's going on? I saw this. Good job. And like, you know, you catch up with yeah. what you guys have been doing. I, yeah, I mean, I hung like, out with Do you with, really um, ever leave a game studio? No. No, and then you follow. Like, a lot of people I worked with now are at other studios and still, still, you know, still Facebook friends, still talk. Um, I was at GDC 13 and hung out with Chris Reinhardt there and uh, Tim Gertson. I still talk with him. Ted Holstead, I've talked with recently. Friendly with oh, friends with a lot of them. They're great guys, man. They're I, I, I love my headians. Uh, so I have th three credits. I'm just gonna talk about my credits. I have three credits. All right, now, just uh, name drop it right now. I have I have an additional writing credit. I have a mm -hmm. manual written by credit, and then I have a special thanks because I did voice work in this game. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear me probably. Just for like an NPC, like Was a it? minor thing. I, yeah, I am. I am the airplane pilot. Were they union actors on this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Is that a thing that like you're contractually like? No, I actually, I actually don't know. Uh, okay. So we had Michael Gray eyes. Uh, is Tommy with yeah. Crystal Lightning? Is Here, Jen? I'll look him up. So, um, you can tell their union right on their. Yeah, yeah. Page. Who is who's the who's the main actor? Um, Michael Gray eyes. Michael Gray eyes. One word. Gray eyes. Gray eyes. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yep. Oh, Rowan. I am DB. Rayson, who worked here afterwards. Rayson Varner. I think he's a. He doesn't Boston. look like he's union unless these. Our union movies. I don't know. He looks like he gets like typecasted to play like Native American. Huh. I think that's probably true with a lot of Native American actors, actually. Okay. It's you know, it's 
said truth of casting. And then... Oh, I got my... I should just log in my IMDB Pro and then I can get his agent. I remember I saw him... <laughs> I saw him <laughs> in an episode of IMDb? Numbers. What? I didn't, I didn't even I didn't watch know you Numbers. you could do that for IMDB. Yeah, that's what uh, IMDB Pro is for. That's oh. why you pay hundred. I didn't even know there was an IMDB Pro. Yeah. That's yeah. how much yeah, I go to IMDB. I know. So who else is in here? Aside Thank from you. vandalizing video game voice actor credits to say no, everybody's voiced by Fifty Cent, no, no that's what <laughs> people did. That's, that's what people did in the, the mid two thousands. They would just go around to like Zelda and stuff. Like Epona's voiced by. Okay, 50 so Cent. it's different. The pro site's slightly different from the uh, one that everybody else gets on. Right. So I'll I'm gonna log into mine here, but I'll see right. if I can get his agent and. Then we can. Uh, well, I shouldn't post the agent. Right. We'll try to get no, no, no. <laughs> Michael. If you're watching, we'll try to get you some work. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully he's doing well. He was great. So is Crystal Lightning. So you got to meet all the actors. I did not. Uh, Ed Lima, the... No, I didn't meet him. <laughs> but I got reports from the field. Okay, field okay. reports are for so yeah. second hand. Okay. Yeah, so Ed Lima, the audio director, he was out there. Tim Gerritsen, um, I know he went out. He was CEO, chairman. He's still uh, he's still involved. He's back in Human Head. Yeah, man. So that was my first job in the industry. And I was actually came on there uh, to head up their tabletop division. And, huh. uh, hey, what? They had a table? They did. What? They, did. they did released they... Uh, Gothica board games. They released a villainy card game. Wow. I was uh, de I was uh, I developed a, a role playing game for them called Normal Texas, um, which is like all the a city all the B movies happen in. So like, mm -hmm. pen and paper role playing mm -hmm. game or yeah, or pen and they paper. still do okay. pen and paper stuff. Uh, or board game stuff. Uh, no, they haven't released anything that I that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, they, they're focused on the video games, though. Uh, though I know they're still big. into Tim Garrison has a has a board game on Kickstarter. Yeah. Check it out, Dragon War. Um, yeah. See, there you go. There's contact. What he's done. Right. What the budgets were. What huh. I don't know if it shows what he gets paid. Look at that. Yeah. Did not know IMDb did that. Yeah, yeah. So like, if you need to contact somebody, like in the VFX, that's what I use it for. So like, when okay. we do VFX stuff here, it's yeah. like, holy hell, how are we gonna do this? And like, you know talked to some guy who was uh, did uh, color post on uh, Skyfall. I was yeah. like, how'd you do your linear workflow for the, and like, oh, blah, 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 and like, they do it, you know? Mm -hmm. No idea what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, when uh, are you guys officially changing your name to Guys With Beards Games? Hey, I don't have a beard. Or plaid. What? Have or you ever plaid, yeah, exactly, right? It's true. No, Only two me. out of three are the beard nope. plaid combo. <laughs> Have you ever had a beard? Have I ever had a beard? Uh, on the weekends. Okay. You've never. <laughs> That'd be nice. Just grow a beard for the weekend. Like it's Saturday, I won't shave. Yeah, I feel That's... like having a beard today. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Just let me. Mm, testosterone. I have to like shave every day uh -huh. to make this work. <laughs> you, you do you you yeah. It's evident that you have a lot of beard potential. <laughs> I do not. Just pull I a do Riker. Not. Everyone can see. Pull a Riker. Just where pull, you're just, like, just one pull season, a Riker. Whole one, season. Yeah. yeah. It's just all of a sudden, bam! When he's are you firing the guy without a beard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can't. We can't. He's got too much dirt. <laughs> all right, uh, Twitch chat. It is all right. four o'clock. It's four o'clock. So yes. Let's, let's do introductions and get started. All right. All right. So again, we've got Alex Mejia. Uh, you've been our video editor for a while since like Saints Row Two. Yep. Um, we got a producer, Jason Blair. <laughs> mm hmm. You are a writer. How long have you actually? How many things have you written for here? I've been here three years. My first project was Central Four. Okay, uh, and I'm Josh Stinson. Uh, I'm pretty new here. I am the video production assistant, uh, and I'm the dude in charge of doing all these streams. No, mm -hmm. you need to come up with a cooler name, like a, a, a streamographer or something. Yeah, stream master. Hmm. Stream master, master sounds kind of good. At Hogwarts. Yeah, Stream Master sounds kind of good because it's like, oh, is he like a Toastmaster or something? But yeah. for the, in the in he's an internet. To I'm an internet Toastmaster. So, All right. Uh, Did anybody great. get to see that sweet intro video? Or was it's, it's been, it was it's been looping. They've had their opportunity. Okay. All right, guys. You already heard the the sweet intro video. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there are temp beards, facial merkins. Temp beards. Reading from storage device. Pray. All right. So we're gonna start up a new game here, and yep. you're gonna tell us about the story. And yeah, how it was completely written by you. You're gonna take credit. <laughs> you're gonna like just like all all the headies. You're just gonna yep. piss them off. You're gonna disown yep. them right now. Uh, no, <laughs> I won't. Uh, so you know the thing is like you know you, they hired uh, screenwriters come in and write it and they you know, uh, but there's a reality for when you have a screenplay and then you are actually have the game and things need to change and so what kind of happened was like it happens in games a lot right. You try to find the places 
that need to get uh, trimmed or, or altered to fit the reality of the game you're making. So. Right. New game. Yeah, sure. All right. So I guess that would be. Wait, Cherokee no. skill is no. unlocked. No, I would just go normal skill. Okay. Last so call. We're gonna make a new game. Right. This is the new game. Yeah, it's just the first chapter. Oh, this is the first chapter. The chapter. And then okay, you can go back. Right. Like so last call. What's some of the best uh, music usage? All right. So tell us about what we're getting into All right, for the animation so because we didn't even talk about the history of this. We game. didn't. Tell me to there's a lot. No, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. So tell me to Wody. Uh, uh, Cherokee lives on the reservation, uh, I believe in Oklahoma? Um, I think. He's just a regular old knight <laughs> at the bar that is tended to by his girlfriend, Jen, uh, and frequented by, the world by his is grandfather. Full of stories, and from time to time. And it seems like they did a lot of research getting into the Native told. American lore. Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, and that was good to see, honestly, try to you know, get it right. Right. I mean, that, it was a really unique setting for mm -hmm. what they were doing. And then, sorry, spoiler alert, aliens! What? <laughs> I don't remember that. So here we are. We start with the mirror. What are you this looking you. at? You. Yeah, right yeah. Can't even tell actually. Me. He's like you, you, it's not but me. it's like. Yeah. Look at him. So there he is, right? He loves his girlfriend. If she just not telling her, he wants off. He wants a different life. Listen to yourself. He wants to walk away from his heritage. in a dirty bathroom. It is, it's a bar bathroom. It's a uh, bar bathroom. I urge so you to touch everything that is seemingly yeah, possible yeah, in this yeah, game. Yeah. So Doesn't right anyone here ever is clean the this touch place? button. Whoop, whoop, whoa. Can you, can you touch those sinks? I'm not getting any prompt. You uh, if I'm his prompt. hand pops I'm just up, walking you around. Oh, you just, you gross. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> Flip that lid, yo. And so uh, that's Prey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's see. Let's see all the all the Easter eggs. All right there's uh, the Viking for, or the the Valkyrie from uh, Rune. Gotcha. There's a lot of Rune things. In there's a lot oh, there's. Of rune I remember things. seeing another Easter egg. That's it's just graffiti written on one of these walls. I think. Here, you can flush that toilet, right? You can flush the the not that one. No. I think, but the other ones you can flush. I get no hand problem. There you oh, go. Oh, there you go. Get some soap. Ha, yep. so soap it up. Soap yep, it see, up. You can tell 2005, 2006 because it's not foaming soap. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah, grab that. I'm go actually going for the beer. <laughs> Give me the beer. Oh, yeah, there it is. My spoon is too big. My that spoon Don, is too big. Don, yes. Don Hertzfeld, I think. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fart Queen rules. I get, that's still true to this day. Spittoon is a band. Uh. Right there, Eli Quinn's band there. I think it still exists here. Mm. There you go. Just poke the shit out of that thing. <laughs> I'm, I, I need my hands it. to be really dry. I gotta aim it. <laughs> look at look at that. Though. Look at look look look. So you can see the the hot air yeah. coming out. I mean, is sweating. there any way to get this to like blow harder? I need like peel the skin right off my hands. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only way I can be clean. All right. What's in the uh? What's in here? I love I love when these are those. called like convenient pharmaceuticals. <laughs> I need my horny goat weed. <laughs> Give it to me. That's how I interact with everything in life. It's yep. just, just smack it. Ah! I mean, you're just kind of smacking shit like you're a cat, really. It's, yes. It's too bad that you you're can't just do it to everything in the world that's only on interactable objects. You're just really curious about the world, and the only way you can interact is by smacking the hell out of it. Can you, can you smack oh, grandpa? His grandfather's calling for me, but I'm like, yo, hold on, I gotta check on something. Oh, hey, nope, not you. No. <laughs> I'm screwing around. around, Grandpa. There's nothing to do back here, though. Unless there's some. Don't know me is now. there some sweet like? Looks like Jen's running Easter low on Ryan. Uh, let's see. Bowman. Like, like Bowman is Tim Bowman, artist. Uh, artist on there. Oh wow. He's a singular Bowman. This is his family brewery, apparently. <laughs> um, hot water heater. That texture. Woo! I want you for the U.S. Army. So wait, you can walk into the women's restroom too. Yeah, you can. This game gonna remember it like it's day look, sex. Look. Yeah. Someone broke the mirrors. Why did they break the mirrors? Bar. It's why not, is it's the not a nice bar. Dude. Why does the woman's re restroom look exactly like the men's restroom, and it's textured exactly the same? And oh, game dev. Also, <laughs> you know, it's a bar bathroom, man. They just all they do is they have a blueprint you, and they wait, flip wait, wait. There's it. a trash can. Can you can you like smack the shit out of it? I can't. Uh, I gotta respect. Not the immersive enough. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> Good okay, luck dealing with that. You're doing a this favor for serious. everybody. That your grandfather is like really. He's really off. angry. Yeah. You're what doing you everybody doing? a favor. You're saving so them electricity. Just, like, I, came slap him him. I came to warn you, not grandfather. Yeah. 
So there's actually quite you know a bit of story, so fetch. if you could this explain what's going on. Well, this, right now this is all pre-stuff, right? So I'm just hanging out. I was in the bathroom, give you strength. and now strength. he's trying to convince me, like, you know, you have, to, you have to respect your heritage, to right? You have to, you have to connect with the, with the waves. They're not, what are you talking about they're not antiquated. They're and, not, you know, they're, 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 there's an honesty and a truth there. There's something to learn from from the, the, the heritage that Tommy was, was raised in. Yeah, but sure. Tommy's just like, I don't buy that shit. Right, not at all. Keeping it real. And that's that's kind of it. that's his arc, that's his arc, and it comes okay. through in, in gameplay as well. So here he goes, takes Man, his takes his Jen's seat. Let this place slide. What do we got? Dollar taps. That sounds. Oh, right. you can actually read those drink specials. That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Slow night. So those tonight. textures, right? Slow night, huh? Sugar. So here's Dalton. Okay. So these are some. These look at these dudes. Okay, so this game is running on Xbox 360, oh, Xbox just so that we could do it with the controller for yeah. the sake of of ease on the couch. But you can get this on the PC. It looks pretty much the same. It just yeah. Ran a little like even the, ran a slightly faster frame rate. Even the FOV is the same, which yep. is crazy because normally when you do the console stuff, the FOV is a lot yeah. tighter. Well, it's tighter because when you sit, you know, ten farther away. feet away from it, you need it that tight because when you're sitting much closer to a monitor, are you gambling? Yeah. Uh, I will hit hit on a nineteen. Oh, who does that? All right. <laughs> hit hit on a ten. Twenty. Stay. Hit me. No. Stay. Boom. I won. All right. Uh, ooh. What am I doing? Come on, double. Uh, oh, hey, double. Infinite Butts 420 is back in the chat. I know. He's a fan favorite. Or he's a he's a Lushen favorite. Hit. I, I'm Stay. answering this question. There we go. Oops, I guess I got to sign in. Drill Poker, got video slots. We have Rune Man. Easter egg. Quinn, there you go. Quinn's Irish Whiskey. That's Eli. You see a lot of developers' names coming in as, uh, as up, drinks. Did they were, you come in here for they were drinks? luscious. It's Madison. Or to dump your Hammered, another rune. Nice Call out bar. there. We got Quinn. I thought there was a... Oh, oh, Ryan Red is one of the lines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Sorry babe. babe. I have to get this weapon off the counter. Hey, cleans with red. Yep. <laughs> How about a couple more so beers? So this is, so I remember correctly, girl. this is Paul MacArthur. Dalton, look at this guy. This is Ted Get Halstead. These guys are based off home. developers. Oh, okay. Uh, who work, who are there. Actually, founders. Founders have had. Um, all right. I'm just going to, what am I going to do? Uh, we were waiting for the Jen thing to go. Loves Jen loves you, you know. I know, man. Like, Look, Grandpa just wants to keep talking to you. Does. She's sure like, too. I'm going to talk about her like she she's not right to this there. Land. It's like, dude. I'm going to whisper very leave. loudly at normal <laughs> room <right>. volume. <laughs> she can't hear us. It's, it's, doesn't she want something what's it called? Than stage this? whisper? Yeah, stage whisper. Stage whisper. Don't walk away. We need to talk. I'm out. I'm walking away. Look at that. I'm walking backwards, forwards, side to side. I'm strafing. You can uh, change channels on the TV. But. Yeah, also there's yeah. a jukebox behind you. Yeah, there oh, is. turn up the jukebox. Like, crank that shit. So, so I boom, mean, here we go. Royalty free. Uh huh. Tommy, yeah. come back. Hold yeah. on, use some nice music. I wonder if they used Bing or if they too. wrote their own video player just for this. You, ha you have to hit that little tiny button up there. The little arrows, yeah. yeah. There it is. So it back. has been a long time since I've played this. <laughs> Ted Nugent. Trailer, Scotch <laughs> Green, 7 7 Mary 3. Yeah, <laughs> do that. <laughs> Grog Fella is stating that, by the way, the PC version oh. is out on Steam, but you can't buy it because they Be literally ran out of keys. I thought it was yeah. no longer on Steam, but the yeah, I, I guess. You know where you wow. Belong. Wait, there's a limit of what you can sell on Steam? I gotta Apparently? find this out now. I have not seen it. Mm. All right, because so. You left. Unfortunately, this has a really long intro to get you into. Unfortunately, like, welcome to narrative, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna push this. There's a. I'm pretty sure there's a fairy potion. Wait, what game am I playing? All right. Chuck, Chuck, and Dalt. Just wait. All right. So too bad you can't slap the beers out of their hands. Tommy, That'd be kind of nice. not this again. Just wait. <laughs> Come away with it. Just wait for the melee tutorial. Just for a few days. <laughs> this really is a tutorial. Why yeah, can't this is, we just this is, be together? Right, so this is. Uh, Something. What? You have to stand next this, to her to remember the story to keep going. Home. This place is my home. My job I remember is here. this. It's my all coming. It's all coming back to me now. So, ten years ago, day. did you touch the writing at mm -hmm. this beginning Charity, section? Tommy. Yeah. What Just originally like happened and what needed to be changed? Mm. That's a good question. Uh, so I'm a lot of this, this, this was this whole scene was already done. So it wasn't just me. It was a group of people who had who 
Oh, right there. I remember we, we labored over this because we wanted these guys to be people you wanted to, to kill. Well, yeah, just to, make them racist. Boom. Well, right, but there's there's a limit, right? There's a point at which it's like, how much is the character and how much is just the studio? Right. Right, being dumb. Uh, and we didn't want that. Didn't want that at all. Um, there we go. Boom, right? So they're getting a little hostile with Jen. Right, I'm sure. Don't touch her. I'm sure All bartenders right, then, watching this can you want it? sympathize. Come and get it. Uh -uh, it's on now. All right, boom. Oh, so they have fists. Sorry, Paul. Yeah, that's not really a fair fight, though. Sorry, Ted. Sorry, Ted. There. We're still good, right? Maybe I should. I'm gonna email him and apologize. What the hell? Human, what the hell is that? Okay, so something is happening. Oh, yep, yeah, emergency signal. Oh, man. Can you, can you touch the TV a whole bunch now? To activate the emergency <laughs> alert system. It's not a touch screen, Tommy. It's not a touch screen. <laughs> also, that TV is huge. The TV is really, really big. Look at those ports. It's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was some... That was a limited edition. And that hand stuff. is not very big. Unless you've just got really small hands and a really big wrench. Yeah? Can you break the TV? No, I'm, you can't even. This is all I can do. This is, this is my interact. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some really cool <laughs> stuff happening. <laughs> this right is right great. Right now. It's like I'm just imagining like if you, if you were doing this right now, while all the scripted stuff is happening with the aliens, and yeah. like you're like a play tester, you know, just going like. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why we put the TV? Uh oh. In? What? Wait, do you get to see hey, them get sucked up? Don't fear the Reaper is playing. By the way. Really? Yeah. It always switches to this song at this point too. Yeah. I think. Yeah. It does. How much did that needle drop? Not the first yeah. game to use this song in a story uh, sequence. I don't know. No, this is before Countdown <laughs> happened. What? Hold on. Why are you guys? Oh, I never saw that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This isn't even the first game to use that song. Mm -hmm. Don't Fear the Reaper. The first game, I think, was Ripper. And they were mm. like, well, what's the closest thing to Ripper? Ripper! That game had Christopher Walken in it. It was great. Oh god, that's right. Yep. That's right. Those oh, FMV. Cyberpunk Christopher Walken if, Detective. I'm wondering if Don't Fear the Reaper has a list of like places it's been used. It's gonna be like, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. <laughs> Everything it's ever. Like, don't stop believing. Believe in. Sorry. Do the aliens want beer? Nineteen seventy eight horror film, Halloween, and it's two thousand seven remake. Mm -hmm. Don't fear the Reaper. Uh, so about the aliens wanting beer, that the um the bar is in the ship. Yes, that's right. Um, right here I am. What's going on? Wait a minute. What the? That, that field of view like freaks me out because it's so wide for a console game. I like it. It's fine for a PC oh, game, but yeah. like My that's probably why they kept it God. really wide because they didn't want to well, yeah, change was, any of these things. Yeah, because they probably figured players would be framing some important things and they would need to make sure it all kept that, mm -hmm. that same view. So um, there we are in the world's worst Demon drop. No, world's worst Tower of Terror. Uh, oh, Tower of Terror. I love that. Yeah. Um, the, this grandfather. So, Human Head did the PC version, Venom Games in the UK did the 360 Tommy. port. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't move. Uh, this is, you know, this Neither is. This was. This was happening before the 360 was released. What are they going to do to us? Um, I don't was know. It was the 2006 release, so this had to have been. This happened, launch. yeah, this happened Just seven months. I think maybe technically considered in the launch window. I forget. But there you go. Xbox came out late 2005. 2005. Yeah, late 2005. Okay, yeah, yeah. you're right. And they're laughing. I look at those guys laughing. I'm going to come back and kill you. <laughs> hey, oh, there's the dog, the hound. I always keep my dogs on a laser leash. Yeah, it's really the, the best way. They, it, it never breaks. See, now we're like, uh-oh, what's happening here, right? Like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Noman, yeah, this game runs yeah. on the same engine Doom 3 was on. It's it Tech 4, right? Yeah, and yeah. if they were to ever re-release this game, uh, there's an issue with the way that they render shadows in Doom 3, and it had to be redone for uh, Doom 3 BFG edition, and a lot of people yeah. say that the shadows in the original look better. Because hmm. they're, they're, like, very hard shadows. They use very hard shadows, uh -oh. and it's a, a method, if I think it's called... Uh, uh, stencil buffers and someone owns a patent on it and they said hey we're gonna see you and they said fine we'll do something else for shadows yeah so you see that same shadowing method in this game but they don't they don't do that any at least for doom 3 BFG. <gasps> who's that Whoa. is that a human being what are you doing so obviously this is a character that you probably interact with later uh yeah the hidden which are a, a group of humans who have been abducted abducted prior uh who got out of the, the this machine and, and now live there 
Uh, and here's Jen Frank. That time Uniqua. Need, deliver us from evil. Uniqua, whose breath gives life to all worlds. And the thing is, is that he's like, Tommy's such a dick. He like shuts her down. Uniqua, whose when breath she's gives like, life to dude, we're in an alien world. spaceship. Let her do what she wants. <laughs> exactly. I was like, Uniqua, look, you guys look like you're about ready to die. We're in a horrible nightmare. Jen, like, stop. I'm trying to think. Uniqua will hear me. Ultimately, Tommy wants There's his best. Yeah, he's a little short. He's not here. First. Yeah. Tommy's, Tommy's not exactly a very nice guy, especially at the beginning. Yeah, and especially at the beginning, right? He's, he's very selfish. He's just about what he wants, and then he learns. Shit. He learns there's more to this than just him. So, boom, what happened there? Yeah, but he can, like, spirit walk and all that oh, stuff. No, he can. Yeah. Oh, no! He can. He's gonna, whoa. Oh, no. Aha! That, that was a good roller coaster ride. Yeah. It was. was. Universal Studios. Jen! All right, now speed God, run no! this shit. Go. All right! <laughs> Let me enter in the warp code. There's a sphinx door. Um, that's a real There's thing. There's no run. You're you're crouching. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm crouching. Yep. Now I'm not. Th this is it. This is running right here. I'm gonna kill this dog. It's not a dog. That's a fodder. Space dog. So wait. Okay. So space dog is a separate thing. Okay. There is a space dog. Am I still crouching? Yeah, you're still crouching. Because yeah, you're clicking the stick to run, and that shit don't work oh, in this game. Man. There is no sprint. What happened, guys? What? Because this is a first-person shooter. Mm -hmm. Like, the ones before consoles you changed them all. This is probably one of the last FPSs before consoles made them really popular and started doing like left trigger to hold left trigger to aim and hold a button to run and hold another button to switch weapons and hold three buttons to do that and, so, and then before you know it, you're just putting Wait your foot in like what? three hands Whoa. on a controller. What's happening here? So That's yeah, that, not what's behind here. So that this game what? uses portals. And then portal was announced. <laughs> this game you had the portal idea since its inception too, though. Correct. Like in '95, yeah. like the one of the it first did. trailers they showed in like '97, like showed portal stuff in it. But the uh, the portal trailer, if I remember correctly, came out. Was it right after what the hell is this, this game, or, or right after? No, so no, we we actually looked up before we tried to do a little bit of research, and oh good, there's glad someone e did. There's an E3 trailer from when 3D Realms was still working on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they showed portals essentially going through one thing on their tech. That they were supposedly planning things? to ship like the next couple of I games with, and 3D good. Realms just never got around to. They ended up moving to Unreal at some point for Duke Four, and like that was the game that they spent most of their time working on. This kind of looks like the Human Head logo. Huh. Also, I think you're going backwards now. I am yeah. Oh, yeah. what? What? All rules are off. I think that's straight from the back. I think I have to go around the other yeah, way. Yeah, oh, really? it's a different yeah. door on both sides. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys worked on this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I played. <laughs> I played this for like two hours yesterday just to make sure. All right. If I ended up playing it or something, I know I knew what I was doing. So yeah. you get to beat up the little blood dogs. Yeah. Wow. I have not touched this since <laughs> since I got my 360, which was uh, in August of 2006. Oh wow! So this, it's like I played it and and but then I was like, you know. What the hell, what the hell are you're, they doing you're these missing, you're missing I'm missing this. Is that Dalton? And or Chuck? No, it's... it's, it's just just so there's a there's foreshadowing that they mm -hmm. just like to stab people that they have done. Right, it's uh, I think it's like getting their energy or something for for the great machine or whatever. And then I'm like, alright, cool, cool. Wait, Wait a minute! No! 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 no. no. <laughs> Wait, I'll try to stop this. Hold on. I'm trying. No. What are you talking about? Go now. What is that? What is what? That smells like mint. Wait. Oh. Oh. That is terrible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk really slow. Oh no. Nobody sprays my grandpa with minty fresh aerosol. That's right. I stopped the machine for now. Says the hider. The hunters will be here soon. Oh, there you are. Then he opens up the portal Portals. Am I gonna do this? There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Wiki stating, Grandfather, gotta go play Dota. Yep. <laughs> Bye, Grandpa. Yep. See ya, Grandpa. Not gonna see Grandpa for another six months. <sighs> so when you're writing for a game, mm -hmm. how much revision... So, like, you... You probably just write an entire outline before, like, early on, but is it... How much ends up having a change to, like, meet with, like, gameplay requirements? Like... Uh, just in general, you mean? Yeah, like, if, if there's a part where it's, like, we need to just put in more content for a mm, part, but there's a, not story written for it. A lot. Uh, usually the, the outline is essentially bridges 
Uh, and it can be in a traditional game, uh, it'd be bridges to cinematics. So traditional meaning like linear, like this level. I, a tradi traditional, a as in the primary story method, is um, is cinematics. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what did I just do? Um, I don't think that really. Is. Um, same kind of energy as those spores. Ew. So, oh, the organic stuff in here is so... He's got the purple stuff dropped on Yep, that's purple stuff. Sunny D, purple stuff. Um, hold on. Oh, come on, great. Oh, here we go. Much better than the old wrench. Yeah, much better than the old wrench. So yeah, so so you're building these bridges, right? And then, um, which are essentially the cinematics. Yeah. And then it's about all the things that can change, right? As systems come online or systems can prove to be... Um, Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, your systems don't work and things need to change. Right. So there's a lot of back and forth. So when you, you should have... push the screen multiple times, by the way. I should. Push, 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 push. Blue screen. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep. Um, where do I go? So Wiki is asking you, mm -hmm. uh, how much work did you put into the fodder dialogue? That was the hardest one. <laughs> <laughs> grunt, grunt, lick self. <laughs> There we go. Art Bell. I knew hey, it was around here somewhere. From um, uh, was Coast to Coast, Coast AM? Coast to Coast AM, yeah. yeah. So these were really fun. I'm getting some reports of strange lights. That's him. In the they reported in, uh, in his area. place in uh, wow. the south, somewhere in the southwest. I am not familiar. Is this like a radio? Yeah, like think of radio like thing? yeah. So Art Bell, real person, uh, yeah. had a essentially conspiracy focused, fringe science focused, conspiracy like paranormal yeah. stuff. It's a pretty big show too, I think. Mm, the, yeah, I remember back in the late '90s, I would listen to it. It was on like at 2 a.m. or something. Yeah, it was a really late, late night show. But it had a huge following. That's why I learned I guess about. I'm not uh, Aware, what's going on here. Stuff. What I think is real Art, life, guys? I think Art Bell's like in one other game, maybe, voice doing, oh, playing really? as himself. Maybe. maybe. Really I know okay. Coast to Coast AM was referenced so in another game, please. Push the little bomb thing in there and blow it up. Oh, it's a bomb. It blows up little organic doors. White on screen, so real. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh. The shrooms are kicking in. What's happening here? You're shooting up some dudes. Shoot up some dudes. Sorry, dude. Oh dude. no! Yep. Sorry, brother. Yep. That that's door a, doesn't even open. That's a thing you can do. Oh, let, let me grab these sausages real quick. Um, Power up with some sausages. Uh oh, I don't have a hand. What am I gonna do about that? Well, I have a hand, but I don't have a. You don't have a alien I don't have hand. A, a I think another portal opens hand. up. You can go through or something. Yeah. Oh, actually, you can drop down there. And I'm like, what? Get those grenades. Oh, that's right, they are grenades. I'm so glad. Oh, nice. Durana for the win, mm. making fun of the radio channels. They said we should just leave. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that. That's man, that was really cool. It still is cool. So if you they hit X, it. it'll throw a grenade like a quick throw. So that must have been something that, that was added later. Yeah, I don't so remember there being bug a quick guys, throw. It's kind of like Half Life. The little like Half Life the, uh, bugs. Oh, right. I think they were called snarks. Okay, so I guess this man. So this is so this is if you jump right now, gravity will take over and you'll fall down. Yep. And just kicks you over. So like once you're on those pads, you cannot jump. So like if you're like a chronic bunny hopper. Yeah. Okay, but if you're a chronic bunny hopper like yeah. I was when I played this game, I was like, fuck, fuck, and then like kind of slow down. It's <laughs> so, like it kind of makes sense to play it on. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, oh man! Because I because I killed him off of here, he fell upward. Yeah, because up is down. Uh, up is down, left is right, good is bad. All right, jump. That's how you Let's teach the players to show it. Yep. Look at that ninja, just like a cat. Just like a cat. What's in that box? Something just jumped out of the box at you. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for you. Who's a good boy? He's being really polite. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Very polite dog. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get this at first. Don't run in there. Just you look at the planet and be like, oh, yeah, look, right? a little planet. How interesting. And then. And then no relation to little big planet. Boom! What? what? And now, look, oh this God. is so cool. Come He's on. He's a giant. 
Oh my god. So, so uh, from a tech standpoint, does it actually shrink you down, or is this like a like a faux world that's just really big with a model that's really big? Oh, I wonder. I'm not sure yeah. how they did this. Here, but here it comes. So I'm betting these portals work in a different way than like the way the scaling one. and the world yeah. works. Up to your right, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that Roker. Ah! That's uh, that's a cool story, bro. <laughs> 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 Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I'm wondering what the point of having your spaceship puke and everything is. Lubricant. They just like uh, it that way, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's just. It's how they shower. It's a well-oiled machine. They get really dirty, and it takes a lot. To I think get it's it off. just byproduct. Like if the people are food, and this stuff is an organic ship, right? Then it's just a natural byproduct. Okay. So this is a ship, organic inside. Yeah. It looked metal yep. on the outside. It's, it's bioorganic. Okay. Okay. Um, you see a You're lot being of stuff. hit by something. Yep. By you get, when you get puked on, puked is that on like kind of acidic? Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, usually. So, because of high, high so contact with stomach acid. Shoot at it? Hey, I mean, like close it. it. Keep... Oh, it does. Yeah, close it closes. Once you see the blood. Okay. I'll find a way to get you off that. Thing. Uh oh. Hey, guy. Oh, what? <laughs> you didn't get enough headshots. Headshot. All right. So one thing that you can do is turn on your lighter. Yep. Get a little bit of light. Look at that. Look at the little lighter. This dynamic lighting in this yeah. game, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty nice, though. You can click it on and off, like, really fast. I remember we were, like, smashing the buttons really quickly to get through the story sequences <laughs> yeah. at the beginning. Like, like, it didn't like, help at all, but... Something. Here's a hound! That looks okay, like... Okay, that's the space that's dog. That's a space dog. Okay, that looks like a creature right out of this movie. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, actually kind the, of. The pinkies, or whatever they call them. Yeah. Are you thinking of Pac-Man? No. What is happening there? Uh -oh. you're, you're getting the purple stuff. I am getting the purple stuff. Hey, dude. Oh. Hey, you're just merciless. You just... The, I'm doing him a favor. These guys are damaged. Okay. They can't go through life like this. But you can because you're... Because I'm Tommy Tori. I'm the, I'm the protagonist. And you don't believe in Iowa or whatever they were saying? You need what? g asking, praise on Steam, but it isn't right now. Uh, that's just because they ran out of keys. Mm -hmm. Apparently they Apparently ran you can out run of out of keys, which I didn't know was was a, a thing that was possible. Uh oh. Oh, this get is power. on. Why is this not on? Whoa. Well, huh? Yeah, you didn't get to see the sweet door open. This is was. this is the sphere. By the by, spoiler alert. You can't <laughs> kill it. You can never kill it. All right. Whoop. There we go. Bye. So since you've worked. You know, you work both on on this. And now you work here. How different is it working at like Human Head compared to here? Uh, at the time I was at Human Head initially, because uh, I've worked there a couple times over the years, there were thirty people. Oh, I didn't know it was that small. Yeah. Okay. Um, How do they make this game with thirty people? What, so did you just have like one single like open office or something for everybody? Uh, we did not. Most of our most of the time on Pray that I was there was in this office park, and we actually took up two sides of the second floor, so you had to cross a hallway um, to get into the second part. Huh. Um, but it, really talented people, man. I'm not just saying that. Like, Human Head, I love them. Uh, really super talented people. Um, you know, that's probably the most impressive thing, playing the Human Head games. You don't realize how, how small, like, small the team is. Is this still, like, their Let's see, when I was there in 2011, they were up to uh, 50? I don't know what they're at now. Okay. I honestly don't. Um, oh, that's an explosion in your face. Yep. Uh, okay, you guy. Hold on. Oh, I'm just getting happier. <laughs> I mean, they're alien sleep pods. They're what they're for. That's right. That's what they're for. So it's been a really rough day for Tommy. He could find Jen, but... You know, I can't find anybody I love on, unless I'm well-rested, so... Yeah. Pray to on the right. day off. That's the premise of every Taken movie. <laughs> <laughs> the first act, he takes a nap. 
Yeah, Liam Neeson just is like, I need a nap. And it's just 20 minutes. It's really That's amazing. Right. I That's, have a very, very s special set of skills. He needs to get extended relatives for them to take because they are seriously yeah. running out of people oh to take for that damn movie. I mean, his, his third cousin mm. removed is taken. I mean, <laughs> he still feels an obligation. Right. To, like, I didn't really know Mike that well. I <laughs> met him once at a family picnic when I was eight, but I mean. You gotta push the uh, alien bomb into the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it opens it, it up. Where's the bomb spitter at? The bomb spitter's over there to the left. Yeah, ah, see right there. There you go. Booyah. Kickball. <laughs> that one seems to be floating above the ground a little bit. There so when you go. started writing for this was a lot of the stuff already set in place because I know like early on like they had a completely different protagonist. Helen Brave. Yeah. Uh, and he had uh, who 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 lives on in in a in a fashion because the okay spoiler alert you're gonna get a bird and that bird's name Are is you Talon. Oh, um, that's right. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna let this guy live. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's doing great. He's good. You're good, bro. That's just a dude in underwear. Just, he's just, just chilling. Just suck it up. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of this stuff was already set. Um, this certainly isn't like I didn't write to pray. Um, yeah. But yeah, just 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 I, helping. I mean, I with, feel like there's reality. probably a lot of people that had their hands on this game. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. When I was we, reading about it, it sounded like there, there were multiple like leads and stuff that that got switched out. That's why it took so long for the the game to actually yes. be released. Yeah. I know. I know. With the time it's spent. Uh, Whoa, what? It is time to let go it's time of the to mortal. go through time. Time to let go of the mortal? Oh, let's do it. Okay. I'm so ready to let go of the mortal the world. Sacred fire. Let go, now. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, be Disney Go world. into Please, the light. Please, be Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> Taken 12 just no, keeps them. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Taken 13, I'm done. That's right. <laughs> Whatever. They actually take Brian Mills, and he's like, I don't, what does this mean? <laughs> Rumors point. To, yeah, there's been a lot of rumors about Prey 2 and the rights and all that stuff. I, I have no insight into that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, I get Come, asked about Tommy. it regularly. Join um, me, grandfather. What? What are you, Bird? What is this? Is that Talon? This is Talon. That's Talon. Talon. This is a, this is, a, is it Talon Brave? Talon, Talon is brave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Uh, so, um... So people and I also remember Tommy Hawk was once upon the once upon a time the name of uh, of the protagonist. Okay. Tawodi is the Cherokee word for hawk, to the best of my knowledge. Okay. Saluki. Ah, here he is. As as you die. Is he gonna push you out of the way like all those NPCs in games I? back then used to do? <laughs> like I'm walking here and you're just like, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, I'm out. Oh. Please jump. Please jump. You gotta uncrouch. Cherokee crap, it's you're you're like sneaking around. Okay, I'm not. Gee, there you I? go. Now jump. Man. Yeah. Now jump off the edge. The problem with being tall this. is that <laughs> every first-person <laughs> shooter already <laughs> feels like I'm crouching. How did yeah. <laughs> so it really does. And you know, the, most of them the camera's in the neck. Brought you here. Um, and so just like it always feels like I'm playing a really short dude. He's been dead since I was a boy. <laughs> feels just right for me. Oh damn it, it's perfect. <laughs> I really wish y your spirit grandpa here had now, like you must lines just for when you're heritage. fucking around. It's just like, what are you doing? You Come on, yeah. stop! Three. No, pay during, attention. During play uh, testing, that didn't happen. Everybody just stood see. there and looked mm -hmm. right at him. It was yep. incredible. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Look at me. Huh? What? Look at me. Tommy. What? Huh? It's really no important way. stuff. Where are my feet? Let me show you. Grandpa, what happened to my feet? Grandpa, what happened to your shadows? You have no contact shadows on the ground. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Tommy, do I have to explain everything? I'm a fucking ghost. Yeah, I'm really. <laughs> I'm blue. I'm, I'm like the end of no. Star Wars here. Come on. <laughs> you ever watch Star Wars, Tommy? I'll be replaced by Hayden Christensen soon. <laughs> All right. All right, so Tommy is now in the spirit world. Spirit world, yeah. The spirit world. And so from this, I get the ability to regenerate. So if I die, I'll go into yeah, this, yeah. this hellscape that I have to survive. Okay. Is so this is fire. Can't get through the fire. Get oh, there's a wall behind you, Close the door! Yeah. Boyberger so, wants to know if this was at all inspired by the X-Files, because they had a lot of Native American lore and, like, episodes. 
That's interesting. Uh, the original idea of this being from the early 90s. What's see? I, I wonder. I, I so there there was a lot of like there was a fair amount of Native American episodes like early on a little bit like in the main lore of that show too. Mm -hmm. So I mean that was around around the same time too. X Files went until yeah. 2001. So yeah, that was a like, debut. Went until 2001. So, yeah, yeah. Nine seasons. Doggett uh, took over for uh, the company um, uh, Robert Patrick's character. Yeah. Wait. So check how many out. seasons? Like there was, were not there. Uh, there was nine. Doggett was. There are nine seasons. In the last season, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Doggett uh, was in two of them. Two of them. The okay. last two. So check this out. Ready? I'm going to go into spirit mode. You notice now I have a blue yep. uh, a blue outline. What? 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 It's oh, he's oh, it's back, back there. there. Okay. Yeah, when I first did this, I was like, is my head gone? So here we go. Ready? And then oh, good. You can poke stuff now as a spirit. It. You can poke stuff as a ghost. Right? Just it's poke the, the hell out of it. Just poke, 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 poke. And now when I return... I'm back to where I left my body. Okay. You, you're a well, poker guy. You should have. I am a poker guy. That's good. I'll, I'll leave now. No, that was good. <laughs> I have a, I have a high appreciation for absolutely terrible puns. I really do. I really do. I love them. All right, now okay. now poke that wall open. Your little test. As can't. You gotta be no, a ghost. You gotta go to the. Poker no, you ghost. can't poke it as a nope, ghost either. Can't poke it. There's no. What well, you were just poking all the. You must I must master the bow. I must learn to fight. The, the army taught to kill. Remember. Remember. Oh, so he's in the army. He was. With white man's weapons. He was. Now it is time to fight is with your own. Go I think it was. Spirit. Go to the spirit cave. The spirit is that a, cave. Is that a hookah lounge? <laughs> so here I go. I'm going to get the... Uh, Ow! <laughs> All right, spirit. Boom. Check this out. Ghost bow. Just like kill yourself with it? Must be no, if you shoot yourself with it, it like teleports you back to your body. Okay. I don't know if that's, if that's actually a mechanic because you can just press. I think a it is to because that's how you, White. That's how you yeah. solve some puzzles. Oh, maybe there's like something that prevents a ghost, your ghost, from returning to you unless you can shoot or something. Maybe. So you're looking at right, Jen needs me. Starting. Grab those again. Whatever. Yeah. He will become your Listen to the bird. Which is exactly what Sesame Street taught me. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, so this game had a pretty tumultuous development cycle. Yeah. And when it started off in, well, it was announced in 1995 that they yeah. were doing this. And I yeah. remember that they shipped a screenshot. We tried to find it, we couldn't find it, but there was like a yeah. really old ass screenshot mm. running in the game engine. And it was like a level and they said, they, they actually announced all these games. They announced this game, mm -hmm. they announced Max Payne, mm -hmm. they announced Duke Nukem Forever, mm -hmm. yep. and they also announced another game. And, and at some point they all shipped, and I looked, and back then in 1995 I was like, oh man, I can't wait for these games to come out, thinking like, maybe three to five what? years that they would all come Who out. Who said that? And Duke Nukem Forever took, what, almost 20 years? I don't think it was that long. It was Duke like, Nukem Forever was announced well, in 95. And for the rest of us who were waiting, I mean, it shipped, what, 2013, 2014? Yeah, yeah it was close to 20. I'm going to look this up. I'm not going to claim that I know, because every time I do um, this, I get embarrassed Was uh, Shadow chat, Warrior so. also in there? Shadow Warrior was one yeah, of them. So Shadow they actually Warrior. did ship Shadow Warrior. Right. But they announced all those games, and they were like, this is it, because we're 3D Realms, and we just shipped Duke Nukem 3D, and now we're on top of our game. And it's like, it's crazy how hard it is to ship a game in the first place. And then for them to announce all that, and oh, yeah. when you're a kid, like, you don't know that stuff. No, no, no. And you, don't, and you know what? They shouldn't, right? That's the thing. Like, I think the whole uh -oh, up is Roper in the middle. might have just posted a oh, screenshot from Prey. Oh, right. Here it is. Yep. Yep, that's Nothing it. But not. That's it. There you go, guys. That's what it used to look like back yeah. in the day. Oh, jeez. Yeah, man. Just a nice screenshot of the map. Yeah. Thanks, Roper. But, like, yeah, that's what they had. And they were like, Prey's coming. And you just, like, look at this. They're like, whoa, it's a game. Because, like, you don't know yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah, like, the original... One Still of the, don't. What like <laughs> the original trailer? They showed like even back then there was they you could tell they didn't have much because basically like one map a gun it's that was shooting and then they showed like a portal thing. It was really short. It's like a minute long. So here's here's an indicator of you're gonna want to use your spirit ability. Yeah. Oh, do they tell you that's your like you want to do that? They don't straight up tell you, but it's like every tutorial thing you always see that symbol. So it's like okay. Wait, right. how come they can attack your spirit you, but like you can't do a bunch of stuff so with your spirit? So this you? like didn't exist outside of the spirit world. This whole ramp. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's like an ammo power. Up. <clears throat> 
All right, now how do you like slap the door open? I think there's a button behind you by the force field that you can you can poke as a ghost. Man, it's been so Man, long. ghosts can just poke, poke, oh, right and poke. Here. No, behind nope. you. In, in it's the, just like a flat out normal button. Oh, yeah, over there. Oh, right here. You're just yeah, like yeah. pokey, poke, 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 poke. Force field disabled. I'm glad, they, I'm glad they have an English option. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah the, the, bird, the bird's really good at translating it, yeah, the it language for you. That, and that's absolutely, that's absolutely it. I mean, the bird's really uh, You know, well man, you need a MacGuffin for some of this stuff, right? Like, yeah. like the you know, some people talk about, oh, it'd be great, this total immersion, but it's like, you will be lost and frustrated. But, yeah. Um, you, like, you have, like, the games that are designed to be extremely challenging, like uh, like Dark Souls, but they take... They take a lot of care to make sure they give you what you need. Right. And uh, so, Ianodia is saying they're wondering because Duke Nukem came out in '96, which is correct. Why they would announce all these games before this? And I remember that they were they had a community on America Online back when it was like okay to use it and people didn't make fun of you. And um, you know, back in the time like that that was, but. They announced all these games, just like, boom, look at all these games, they had plans for them. And, like, I don't know, 3D Realms holds a special place in the heart. Because they shipped, even before Duke Nukem, they shipped a lot of really awesome They made some good titles. stuff, yeah. And the thing is, like, I think it's on sale on Steam, too. You can go buy that stuff now. Because a new company ended up buying their, um... Oh, that's interesting. Yep. Ghost can't do anti-grav stuff. Or can it? No, you can't. I... When you oh, do this part, okay. this part's to show you that ghosts always it's fall down. Definitely weird. Okay. Uh -huh. But so it could ghosts come in hand. can't interact with the... Yeah. Okay. Organic threat detected, heavy weapons authorized. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, so for that stuff right. on AOL where they were they're announcing, they announced all those games all at once, and I was like, right, who does this? Was I mean, they were, like I said, it was 3D ROMs. They were really on top of their game. And, like, yeah. They shipped Duke Nukem 3D, and I... I I seem to remember Duke 3D had better sales than Quake did. Duke 3D was pretty big. Like, you know, also though that time, like that was common. Like, we're gonna release this. We're gonna announce this game forever before it, before it happens. We're gonna release it. We're gonna promise a bunch of them. Um, it really, like, you know, like you know, things like Daikatana and whatnot. That, that yeah, they, there was a lot of games being promised around that. What yeah. Was that? All right. Your gun. This guns pretty neat. Rock some shit. All right. Uh, rock some shit. It's like, it doesn't charge up, and then you yep. can go. Yeah, you can charge it up, and... Yeah. So there, there's like three different ammo types for it. There's like that one, there's ice, and there's like electricity, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Don't, don't, don't let her... No, save her with the spirit! Tommy! I Oh! Why can't go? Oh, they got glass. spirit coat on this wall. I can't get through. Jeez. It's really of expensive to make. They can only cover up just one window. This, this, this kid's about to get this about to get back. Wow. Oh, that doesn't happen in games too often. How come her spirit went through the okay. Because she's evil spirit. Ghosts are it's kinda of like magnets with ghosts. Right. It's positive <laughs> and negative polarity ghosts. Alright. Leech. Leech so this. this. What uh, Josh was talking about here, yeah. change the ammo on it. Um, yeah. Right. So wait, you can fire a ghost yeah. at them? No, it's just, it looks just like oh, freezing really fast. Oh, it's fast. a freeze, okay. I thought yeah. you were like firing ghosts. They're, I mean, they're somewhat ghostly looking. Yeah. Why can't I smash you? Yeah, they look more ghostly. Than this. So this might be a graphical difference because the PC one, they have... They a, look like ice. They look a lot more like ice. But it looks like that effect might have been removed for the console version. Okay. And yeah, whenever you're killing enemies, they're dropping those orbs. That's just to refill your spirit ammo. Because every time you fire a shot, you use up some of your ghost ghost health. Hey, what's happening, dude? What are you looking at? Oh my god. Oh. Uh, Headshot. Oh, you know, but it is pretty impressive, though, what they were able to do with the console version, considering, like, you like know, fine, now that we know fine. how much that you're There's being dog behind being you. Man. Fodder. You know, considering how how much graphic power there actually is in the Xbox 360, and how m much they were pushing the graphic boundaries on PC at the time, so I mean, it's really great that they Whoa. did the port like this. There you go. That's what you look like from the side. Let me speak. I always nice. ready in the morning. I always wonder what I look like from the side. Okay, so they have to be Hold doing on. something special Hold because on. I'm gonna get this guy. Come on, guy. But if you look down, your legs are gone. 
be able to see. Oh, you can shoot yourself. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So there I am. So yeah, once you get the, the ghost ability, yep. you, you never actually really die in the game. Yep. This is probably the best gameplay mechanic in kill, this game. I have to go raids. Where are the raids? Yeah, they, they pop up after Grandpa's um, done talking. After all this tutorial. Gosh, oh. Grandpa, stop talking so much. So first I get to charge my spirit, right? And then uh, the red ones come out for my health. Yeah. And how, how well I do here determines on what I respawn. Yep. It's cool. Yeah, it's a cool mechanic. That was that was all the right. best thing about this because like they said, even though there's like tr traditional save load in it, it's like once you get to the spirit part, you really don't need it. Yeah. Like yeah, you can just keep playing the game, and all it's right. kind of like a hallmark of modern game design here. And I think this is the first game to, to do that. You're gonna do yeah. that and just shoot yourself in the back. No, I'm no, just, I, I'm just legitimately. Yeah, I think you go that way now. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. Well, another gameplay mechanic. What you say? I'm gonna go walk in this stuff. This looks friendly. What? Hey, there's other ones in the walls, I think. Do, 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 do. What's happening here? Could these possibly be some kind of gravity manipulators or something? Maybe you need to turn into the spirit. Oh, it's blue and spirit. I think nope, I'm gonna be there's a portal over there. Yep. Oh, these are the gravity things every time you shoot them. Yep. This is the gra gravity puzzle. You can, you can, you got it. You can run over there and get that, right? Uh. You need to be in the right spot. Oh, <laughs> oh you did throw up. Yep. Oh I was God. waiting for that. I remembered that. I didn't know that happened. Yep. All right. So yeah, you just gotta be. All right. So what I gotta do? Uh, to your right, you, you gotta wall. jump up there and then shoot that one on the wall. Right there. There we go. Do, do, do. Ah! That's because you're crouched. Damn it, man. Damn this crouching. Did you make it? Okay, I did. Good. I did. <laughs> so compared from like when this game was made to now, a lot more games I feel try to put more story while gameplay is also happening. Yeah. So, back then, was there less back and forth between people doing the gameplay? Was there any back and forth with them, with like the writing, or was it basically you did stuff and then if they really need something, they would just ask for it? Um, I remember having quite a few conversations about some, uh, about, about different ways to, to establish characters and things like that. It's okay. kind of on the cusp of, uh, of what would become, uh, like kind of the modern paradigm. Right. Um, with such a small studio, there's so much communication. I don't know at the time what it was like for a really large studio. Okay. Um, uh oh. Uh oh, here we go. Man. Did Jason O'Connell design this? this <laughs> <laughs> Did you design this, Jason O'Connell? It's interesting. Did you? This, this, totally, this totally smacks of you. He liked. I like making the hard shit, or the confusing stuff. Like you know, you you give designers uh, this kind of mechanic, right? And, mm -hmm. and uh, there we go. There's the bar. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, geez. Don't worry, I got this. It's okay. Ghost time. Oh, oh, okay. They're not. They're not in cycles. They're just running at the same time. Yeah. All right. You can you can shoot arrows pretty quick. Yeah. Not much travel time on them either. Here we go. Death is just a mini game. And pull off the, pull off the legs like crabs. Wasn't there another game that had like a, a similar thing where you had to like run through spear? What was it? No, oh, it was World of Warcraft, wasn't it? When you died, at least early on. You played World of Warcraft? No, I didn't. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. No. Wait, did, they, remember... did they fuck up all the songs in here too? Is it the same songs? Oh, it seems fun. I thought that'd be kind of funny if they were like alien beings that they like. Though I, th <laughs> I think, I think while orbiting space, I don't know if the uh, the licenses are still valid. <laughs> hey man, so wait, a, needle, a needle drop. <gasps> Clutch. Look, you paid for. Turn that shit up. Eleven. Who cares if you die? Yeah, dude, hold on. It's clutch. <laughs> It'd be great if you just be like, hey, come on, just like shoot behind your back, just like. Yeah. Dude. Come 
Come on. I'm doing good. <laughs> you know That's what? Right. Every I won time the pre tournament. Okay, so this game has an auto difficulty selector, so every yeah, time you dying, die. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. make the enemies easier and turn out right. difficult. Right, it does. There so were a couple other at games. At this point, they just throw out just suicide bombers. Right. But like, ah. that's kind of a modern game design thing too, right? Yeah. Because yeah. They were, we actually do a lot of that behind the scenes stuff. Really? Or do we? Does Saints Row have dynamic? I, I know they, it's never advertised that it does. A lot of games have some level of dynamic. They just don't. They just don't tell, tell they you. They just don't tell you. Okay. Because I know there were a couple other games around this time, or maybe a year or so, Basically the same time that also advertised dynamic difficulty like um sin episodes. Yeah. They also had the, the dynamic oh, difficulty. Man, sin thing. Episodes. That was another game that was made by like a smaller I think that was Gearbox. Was it? Was no, it? I don't no, think it was on. Gearbox. I'm gonna look it up. I just don't want to embarrass myself. I just know it was like the no, first the game. The original sin. The, yeah. Original Wait, sin. the original sin? The original sin. Gearbox is the blame for the original sin? <laughs> wow, that's quite an accusation. Jeez. So here we go. Sin. Yep. Now my internet wants to be funny. Okay. Internet always wants to be funny. Modified version of the Quake 2 engine. Ritual Entertainment. Yeah. Cause Sin was also like Sin Episodes was like the first game ever that you could pre-order and like download Sin on Steam. Sin Episodes is a different title from Sin. Achievement yeah. unlocked. Second chances. Nice. Go, go Chivos. I also Sin, I also need the achievements. Uh, Don't tell late anyone. 1998. So yeah, Sin was one of those other games that was like, ooh, we can do something else with the Quake engine. And it was always fun watching these guys make these different games with... Uh, they didn't call them id Tech back then, they just said the Quake 2 engine, the Quake 3 engine. Yeah. But at some point they started saying like, id Tech 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have a t-shirt that says, Earth Savior doesn't want the job. Was that something that's said in one of the cutscenes or something, or was it just... No, that was, mar that was marketing. That was a okay. marketing line. Uh, but I have a t-shirt with uh, Tommy on it. Uh, it was actually, uh, I believe it was a Tommy Lee Edwards uh, drawing of Really good. Tommy Lee Edwards was good. good. Oh, nope. um. Who ends up writing loading screen tool tips and stuff? Is that just like an intern? Uh, a lot of the team. Uh, like uh, there, are, there's a Come hint on. section. Calm, calm down here. There's 30 of them there, right? They have an <laughs> right. intern. That's like a huge. All right. Part I keep forgetting team. it's really small, so it's just anybody yeah. just writes them. Yeah, we're gonna put it out like the people who know best. Oh, okay. Like, okay. What, what, what's the best thing to give someone uh, as as a, as a learning tip? And there's also TCRs as well associated with yeah. Microsoft, right? That's unique here because there are the loading screens on PC. There are no. Right. It's just you just load. You just like load. So. It had to have been done for the console version. Mm -hmm. And two, also, when we're like, oh, yeah, we're used to being such a big team. Like, I mean, there's 200 people here at Volition, mm -hmm. which is obviously a lot more than 30, but mm -hmm. at the same token, in the grand scheme of, like, AAA game design, it's actually a really small amount. Because mm -hmm. you have, like, an Ubisoft where they go, oh, we have, you know, Far Cry 4 or 5 ready to go, and then they can just, like, a thousand artists... March and like uh -huh. the game just gets made oh, I'm not gonna make really it quickly. Time. It's not a timer. Do, 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 do. There's no run either. Walk, walk, well, walk. I mean, you are running, walk, at your, walk at whatever speed you can, sir. Beep, beep, beep. Whoa. Was Whoa. it like TCR stuff or game manuals too? When that was still like a thing that was physically made? Mm. I don't think so. Oh. The TCRs are only for shipping software, so like. Okay. Yeah, but there are so many. In fact, yeah. it's it's a database you know, that you have access to. It's not even a. Uh, Go read the TCRs. Okay. I think you have to look. Because uh, I, I dealt with that at, an, at another job. So, we probably shouldn't say too much about TCRs, but for those that don't know... There are rules. Yeah, yeah. there are rules for when yep. you ship on any game console, they tell you... And most hey, of them are really good business ones, business. like, it shouldn't crash. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, Makes um, sense. Like, and then it's, so it's, not, it's not just like, you know, don't think it's just like, oh, nitpicky stuff, first party control. It's not. It's just, hey... We have standards. Yeah, it's so that they have to be met. Yeah, right. right they're, they're there so that when software gets shipped, that yes. like let's say someone writes a really buggy, crappy thing. Right. A lot of people will be like, you know, stupid Microsoft or stupid Sony or su stupid Nintendo. Why do they ship such a buggy thing? Because right, because their name is mm -hmm. on yeah, all the boxes. On the box. So mm -hmm. it's it's weird. It's a thing you have to do, but it's yeah, man. It's for the better. Yeah. Trust me. It really is. 
Gotta go through this coast door. Coast door. I wonder how that door died. <laughs> Do you think that those things are like? Here, oh, sorry. Look really close at those those slotted walls. Oh, that's just a texture. I was like, yeah. no yeah. way. That's geometry. That's yeah. a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Talon. Poke, 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 poke. I thought you were a serial poker. Would you hear? You just, you just poke them up and then you're done. That's no so fun. Yeah. War has changed, Tommy. <laughs> yep. Takes the poke out of you. <laughs> There's no joy to be had in poking buttons anymore. What? And then war happened. War. So cool. It's like it's been so long since I've played this that uh, I get I get to see it really fresh and and appreciate mm -hmm. a lot of the work that was done with this. So um, you said seeing it fresh. Yeah. When you're coming out of a game, and what's that like? Obviously, you've oh, crunched for X amount of hours. Mm -hmm. You're coming out of it, and you're just like, describe that feeling. Well, like most recently, I had it with SR4, right? Like you spend so much time, and you're so deep in the game, and that uh, you're seeing it in all these pieces, and and. You take the step back to play it, but it's still in development. So then submission happens, right? So you're going through this whole process of developing a game. Submission happens, and there's just time where you're not working on the game. Maybe working on a DLC, I might be working on something else. Our uh, bell, but you yes, like I you like after SR4, yeah, I was yeah. working on DLC, and, yeah. but I wasn't working on the main game. So by the time it comes out, two, three, however many months any later, uh, I played I it. I just popped it in and played it, and and it's nice to have that distance no, because uh, yeah. I loved SR4. And this is true talk. I loved SR4 the whole time I was working on it. Uh, but to play it with some distance is always better. Um, right. Yeah, I remember that. I had that first experience with um, Saints Row 2. I mean, I worked on it maybe for like a couple months. Mm -hmm. But like Saints Row, well, I, well, probably Red Faction Armageddon is the first game that I had like the full like development cycle slash release and play it. And then when you bring it home and you play it like a couple months later, you're like, oh wow, there's a game here because you're mm -hmm. so used to just like opening up the game, opening up the console, mm -hmm. dropping directly to the spot that you're working on. Yep. You know, letting that play through, see what you need to do to tweak it to make it better. Yeah. And then like you drop out and you never really see it in the whole context. I mean, there are some people's jobs who it is to see the whole whole game in context and you know help give marching orders, but still, it's like. And, you know, and different parts of the game come online at different times. Yeah. So it's like, you know, one level or one area or one whatever, one mission may not be going. But it's like, it's the third one the player will play, but, you know, the, the end of the game is already done. So you're playing it out of sequence. You're hoping. You're squinting. Um, it's always <laughs> nice. But, yeah, you need the people who, who understand what it is exactly what you But it is. It's, as, you know, it's game development. you got to focus on your stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think we started a, an Ubisoft war on chat when I said, oh, no. thousand people march because they are talking about their favorite Ubi games now. <laughs> Open that sweet door. Yeah, what does that say? Okay. Operational gravity zone. I mean, yeah, it's in English. Because of talent. Oh, yeah, talent. Okay. So those little, like, like, tentacles out of the wall, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a story behind there, and you're going to explain it to those me. Those are cilia. Yeah. Those are cilia. Like your lungs have, right? To help uh, help help catch anything that's uh, coming in. Mm -hmm. um, that's what those are. They're, they're designed to keep stuff out. I think there's a button to shoot on the ceiling. There we yeah. go. Yeah. I seem to remember in multiplayer playing this game and... You mean multi-prey? <laughs> Was it really multi-prey? Yeah, it's called multi-prey. Yep. Okay, so in multi-prayer... Mm -hmm. <laughs> multi-prayer is something else. Okay, multi-prayer. <laughs> that's, okay. that's what big churches are. <laughs> okay. So in, in multi-prey, I remember that you could hit the buttons while people were playing and everybody oh. would just, like, rotate. Good job. Yeah. And uh, you could set a bunch of objects in a room. There was always a bunch of objects in the room. You got crushed by it. It was like the biggest feel bad ever. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, the person who ever shot that would get killed. And if there were a bunch of objects in the room, like you could pick up a bunch of kills by just shooting them all. 
All right, I'm back. I'm gonna look at this blood smear. So Eli, the, Eli Quinn, king of king of blood smears. Is there portal stuff in the multiplayer too? Yes. Okay, I was wondering if they would be able to get multi something like that working yep, in multiplayer. Yep. Excuse me. I was wondering if. Uh, Don't stand on that box when you do that. You're gonna get fucking crushed. Okay, I guess in single player it's newbie mode. So. That, that box looked like that tech demo meat cube for one of the Unreal engines. <laughs> you remember that thing? Yeah. For, there I go. For UDK3. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I know this bathroom. This is a great bathroom. I, I mean, remember it well. It's where it all started. Does the hand dryer still function? Because nice. you need, you got really right. wet hands now. Right, actually, actually, Here, let's see if you can slap it. Pretty disgusting right slap now. It, slap it, slap it, slap it, slap it. Oh. Actually, now you're just you disgusting. To, you, have to to the, you have to go to the, the wrench to do no, it. No, I, I think you can slap stuff whenever. Yeah. Uh, it's a good hand I'm drop. done with this game. I'm done. Oh, you want to make some mad cash? Just keep playing this. Keep making really high bets. All right, I'm back. All right, let's do this. Bet it up really high. How many credits do you have? Ten. Oh, you ten. have ten. All right, bet in the house. All right. All right. Okay, what, no, what should we do? No, 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 no. Well, Before. you got the eights. We got the eights. No, keep the king. King keep high. The king. Yeah, king high. All right, let's Get do rid it. of the seven and the jack. Yeah, there you go. What? Poker phase. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Chivo unlocked. You'll, uh -huh. you'll notice that I kept two eights and aren't there anymore. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like Vegas. <laughs> Open the door. Oh, I think there's a uh, thing above you, maybe. Or a. Uh... Oh no, it's the other portal. You, you have to go back through that portal because there's another one. You can go through. The other side. Volition plays prey. That's kind of a hard thing to say. Volition plays prey. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh. I'm just marking the trail. Emmy, <laughs> Emmy mentioning aliens invade the world. Let's kill them all. Oh, a video game. <laughs> I love video games, said Tommy. <laughs> yep. Video poker. They're like, hey guys. You would think that. As Tommy's character, that he would look at that and be like, "Uh, oh, another one of these things." Yeah. Like he probably views it as like the chains around his people or something, right? Like something because he talks about getting out of the place and he, he does. Says, I hates it so much. He does. Like he would probably hate the the reserve gambling or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. That uh, I mean, that's <gasps> oh it's, my it's god. Legal on are we gonna, are we gonna uh, get to the plane for casinos? Yeah. On the reservation. Right here. Oh, so they pulled in a plane. That's me. That's, oh wow. That's, we are going down. Uh, robbed of a, ba of a BAFTA, but whatever. Um, Is that one take? That was like seven. Um, <laughs> poor Ed. Where'd you record it? Uh, at the, at Humanist Studios. We had a sound booth. Um, okay. We, we uh, I recorded it in there. Uh, my favorite, my favorite little line that's kind of hidden in there is at the very end, where you you get to hear a line about, and afterwards the snakes return to their seat for the remainder of the flight. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, pretty great. Reinhardt, Reinhardt's private school for children. That is Chris Reinhardt. Still at the head. Still an awesome, dude. Look at that lighting. Yeah, Thanks man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, Talon wants you to do something. What does Talon want me to do? Talon! Oh, you got a thing up there. Whee! It's a real helpful bird. It is. Smart ass it is. bird. I'm not a big fan of birds in real life, but I would I would I would hang out with Talon. Fish. So right, how much playtesting yeah. did you do in this game? Because I feel like with all the puzzles and everything, mm -hmm. there had to have been a lot of that. Yeah, I know uh two K did uh and 2K did a lot of playtesting. We did a lot of playtesting in-house, a lot of friends and family stuff. So 2K would come back and be like, man, this is really hard, you gotta change this puzzle. Uh, I'm not really sure. I wasn't involved a lot in the, pl the, the playtesting. Puzzles must be something that's harder to playtest too, because once somebody's done it, they kind of know mm -hmm. what the solution is. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of need can. somebody fresh. Well, yeah. yeah, you just constantly bring in people. Okay. Like... Kid, hey you. You're it. I'm it, I'm it. Is it tag? You playing tag? Who is in tag? Wait, oh, is that wait. your bird or is that? My bird. Yeah, Talon, turn, red? Talon turns red when he attacks stuff. 
That's I thought like maybe it was an enemy bird and you're protecting the girl because she's kind of like not red. red so I think you're crouching again. Yeah. Probably. Is there a couch indicator on me? Yeah. No. It's, like I said, man, I'm just used to always feeling super if, short in your <laughs> If your viewpoint's like like this all the time, oh. that means you're crouching at Bob. The Bob. <laughs> we have, um, there's this, the school bus is, is in this as well. The school bus. Yeah, I remember hearing that there's some bit with this. Like anytime I've heard people talk about prey, they always bring up a, something with a school bus. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The Ro girl, the girl model, the girl, the children. They all, they, they were abducted. Okay. So Roper is asking if the plane had anything to do with the plot of Prey Two, but you know nothing about Prey Two. What are you talking about? Actually, yeah, it did. Oh, that was in the, that was in the release materials. Um, uh, the live action trailer was what was happening on the plane. Uh, right there, that I was piloting. Uh, unlicensed. Did by you the way. did you voice? Did you did you get your No, actually I, I was not at uh, I was not at head during that time. I came on to pray to later. So you so Okay, so voice actors were most of them recorded there in studio or did they go? No, no, I, I didn't believe most of them were done in LA. Okay. Ring around the world. It's pretty much every VO thing in LA. For the most part, it's where all the talent yeah. is. There, I know there's it's like just, it's just easy when you're there because okay. it's like you're, you're okay. So let's say you've got an entire studio day. You spent X thousand dollars just to rent that studio and the people to run that studio. Yeah. And then now you're also paying X thousand dollars for each union actor because there's unions and rules mm -hmm. and minimum so that you have to pay yeah. for everybody. Yeah. And then one of the guys is like, "Well, I can't show up today because my child or something right. is doing something." So then you need to find someone to fill that spot because you're still burning that money for being in the studio and paying all those people to be there. So a lot of times you just would call and be like, hey, could you come in in like the next two hours? And someone's like, yeah, I got time. I'll go make some extra money right now, right? So like you always have a bunch of schedule and a bunch of people you need to record and it's just about scheduling those people so that you're not wasting money in the right. studio with nobody being there. Right. Because like maybe, maybe you're... you're your two, your your noon to or your one to to three is booked, but you've got like a four to six or something mm -hmm. for for somebody, and like now you're waiting those three hours doing nothing, just okay. burning money. I don't like you. So yeah, that's why all the recordings in Los Angeles because the talent is always in like an hour's drive. Okay. okay. Cause I, I know there's some uh, video places in Canada, but they were for like older games. I don't know. They're still around, but I know there's some some like Capcom games that use Canadian voice actors. Too. Yeah, I'm, you know, I, tr Toronto, Vancouver probably have uh, uh, theater scenes. Okay, uh, I would imagine they'd have to so, just because of how and and, and films use they they report a lot of, of U.S. television in Toronto with uh, Canadian television. Which I'm a big fan. Yeah, yeah, between between nice yeah. nice desk. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> doing this between uh, Canada movie. Uh, production scene and like Ubisoft being there, like that's oh, gonna right. be a lot of work, right? Yeah. You starting a war? You starting a Ubisoft war? Nah. What are you doing? What's happening? I'm just saying they're, they're just there. Hey you. Look at her. Oh god. <laughs> so this kid was made. This, this, a, a ghost was uh, imprinted off of her. But it's like a. And now it's just popping off ghost. everywhere. Yep. Yeah, now it's just an angry spirit. The wraith, I uh, believe the wraith, the same ones that killed in the spirit world, uh, came in and, and took over her body. Oh, and, there uh, you go. See, that's crouching. Because when you're mo when you're moving and crouching, you're that's even just, more wobbly. That's just how it works. You are an interesting little bug. Who is this person? Mm. Keep playing to find out. <laughs> nice. Load screen. There we go. All fall down. Man, all right. Still well, getting achievements. Yeah, it's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. I I've think, achieved something. I think it's time that we <laughs> probably wrap this up. This would be a good point right. to do that. So, yeah, it's maybe somebody should go bug to somebody to get more keys for. Yeah, because you know, there are clearly people in the chat who want to get this. Yeah, too, so unfortunately, like, like you, I guess you can. Can you buy this on GOG? No, it's mm -hmm. not on GOG. I checked. No. Okay. Yeah, I think Steam's the only place you could buy it before they ran out of keys. So. Yeah, strange. I don't know. Uh, but you can get it, I'm um, sure you can get Amazon copies, eBay, all that stuff. Yeah, you can still get know. console copies. They're yeah. still available on uh, oh, man. Amazon stuff. 360, yeah, yeah should be 360. This is, yeah, and this is my personal copy. I got 
comp copy because that's, mm-hmm. that's that's the whole reason to work in video games. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, man. All right, pray. Let's do yeah. wrap ups. Yeah. Right. So we stream every week. Thursdays now, not Friday. Yeah, they already know that. Come I on. know. Well, you know, there might be somebody coming in here who didn't come in last time. But okay. every Thursday, uh, same time as usual, so four, uh, five Eastern, uh, two Pacific, 20 GMT. Yep. Yep. So Man, you got that down now. It's, I've been, I think about it every day. <laughs> 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 I've got to say it, and time zones are a terrifying thing. Mm-hmm. They so are. So easy to mess up. It's like, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, we're Volition, stream every week. We got, again, Alex Mejia, uh, Jason Blair, uh, and I'm Josh Stinson. And uh, thanks for coming, and see you next week. Bye. See you guys. Bye.